There she is near some of the kids. Not only did much of former First Lady Barbara Bush's life play out before our eyes in front of TV and newspaper cameras, most of it is also documented right here by her own hand in well-kept scrapbooks, like this picture of Mrs. Bush lounging in her bathing suit in 1965, or this one of Mrs. and President Bush attending a ball. Notice Mrs. Bush's note right here by the picture telling us the photo is taken in Corpus Christi at the Pink Elephant Ball. We have over a, about 118 scrapbooks all together. Mary Finch has been archiving pictures and videos for the Bush family for 25 years. When she first started thumbing through Mrs. Bush's scrapbooks, she couldn't believe the former first lady actually put these together herself. When I asked her about it, after several years, she said no. She did every bit of it herself. She's she, gluing. She she's did. Writing. She glued it. She would. She would write the things. And you know, this is from 1966. In fact, look at this. It's a letter Mrs. Bush saved from the 1960s. She actually wrote and mailed thousands of them, telling Houstonians why they should vote for her husband, who was running for Congress. She did 73,000 plus letters, handwritten, hand stamped hand stuffed and hand sealed. And they mailed them in November, November 2nd of 1966. Mrs. Bush started scrapbooking in 1943 when she was still Barbara Pierce and she got engaged to George H.W. Bush after the two of them met at a high school Christmas dance. Here's the dance card from the young couple's prom soon after. And this is a letter Mrs. Bush wrote to President Bush after he invited her to prom. I think it was perfectly swell of you to invite me to the dance. Those words are the perfect example of Mrs. Barbara Bush, elegant and a class act. I thought that he considered Mrs. Bush the most wonderful person in the world. Mary Smith volunteers here at the George Bush Presidential Library and has had the opportunity to meet the Bushes on several occasions. Once when they were here with their dogs, a little boy tried playing with the presidential pups here in this courtyard. And of course they would run from him and Mrs. Bush walked out there and saw it. And she walked up to the little boy, took him by the hand, led him over to the freedom statue, sat him down, sat down beside him, put her dogs in her lap. Mrs. Bush sat talking with the little guy, letting him play with the dogs as long as he wanted. She's done a lot um, over the years for children. She was mother to six children, George W., Jeb, Neil, Marvin, Dorothy, and their daughter, Robin, who died of leukemia at just three years old. Mr. and Mrs. Bush also have 14 grandchildren and seven great-grand. She's been in charge of everything. He had his job and his position and she was mom. <laughs> Keeping it all together. That's exactly right. In addition to her own, Mrs. Bush seemed to have love in her heart for every child. Her big thing is if, if we, can, we can improve the families, if we improve literacy, and improving families are so important. Well, family literacy has been important to the First Lady for many, many years. It was her cause as a First Lady. She actually uh, started the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy. So one of her things is universal literacy around the world. And she became well-loved all over the world. Mrs. Bush will now be laid to rest here next to her daughter, Robin. And this is here on the grounds of the George Bush Presidential Library. As you can see from this plaque, someday President Bush will join them. In College Station, Texas, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox News.